Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about which banner I think is a better banner to summon on. You have the LF Goku and Vegeta banner from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, and then you have the Sword of Hope Trunks banner, the LF Sword of Hope Trunks banner. Um, you know, which banner to summon on? Whenever we have these dual LF celebrations where there's two banners, I always get the question, you know, which banner should I summon on? So we're going to go ahead and break that down here. Um, but before we jump into things, I will go ahead and just tell you guys right now, these banners are pretty similar, with the only real differences being the featured characters, and that's both featured sparkings that are not LFs and featured sparkings that are LFs, including the new featured, you know, Trunks and Zamasu and Goku Black here, and then obviously the Goku and Vegeta and Broly. So... Uh, what I'm going to be doing mostly is we're going to be comparing which, uh, you know, differences between these banners is actually better. And to do that, if we scroll all the way down here, you can notice that a lot of the uh, rates on here for all the sparking characters are 0.2362%. Um, so those, all these characters that have that same rate are what I consider to be unfeatured sparkings because there's so many of them. But then when we scroll down here, there are a set of characters that actually have a 0.5% pull rate. You can see these characters have uh, the, that pull rate down here. And then if we scroll down further to the bottom, there's even more. So there's a lot of featured characters on this banner, right? We have a 1% drop for the Broly. He's obviously a new character. We have uh, 0.5s for all these characters. And then we have um, obviously the LFs on here that are not just the new one, but also um, you know the old returning LFs. So. Uh, let's start with the Gogeta, not the Gogeta, the uh, the Goku and Vegeta banner. So we'll we'll just go through and I'll, I'll quickly summarize what I think about the featured characters. So let's start over here. Yellow Bardock is outdated, not really great. This guy's same thing, outdated, not really great. This guy's a Zenkai Awakening, but I wouldn't really consider him to be that great. This blue Gogeta is really good. I think he's uh, pretty actually underrated still. Um, the Vanish Restoration is really powerful. The blue card does a lot of damage. You could lock him in with the green card setup with the blue card. So pretty solid unit. Uh, Yellow God Vegeta is still pretty good. I wouldn't really call him like anything spectacular, but he's a solid option for God Key for sure. Um, Red God Goku still one of the best bench characters in the game for the God Key tag. Uh, Purple Janemba, I would actually consider him to be one of the more underrated characters in the game at this point. Uh, he was the f first free summonable sparking character that they introduced with... Um, or summonable Zenkai character, sorry that they introduced uh, with the sort of all Zenkais are free update. So I, I actually do really like this character. I think people don't use him as much as he should be used. And then uh, <laughs> everybody loves Super Gogeta. Um, still a really, really annoying character to fight against. Card draw speed, the green card can be annoying. Ultimate hits like a truck. He's a Super Saiyan, so we can be around with Bardock. I mean, this guy's a lot of options for his teams. Um, definitely a powerful option. Uh, Purple Turtles, I wouldn't really consider to be anything special. And if you scroll the way down here, um, we have a bunch of other featured characters. God of Destruction Topo, I believe this is the first banner he's actually returning on. He, I would also consider to be a pretty underrated character. His lock with his ultimate damage, devastating. <laughs> he can one-shot so many different characters. And um, I feel like this is, this is one of the reasons why you would maybe prioritize summoning on this banner over the Trunks banner. Revival Goku is still solid, but with Gogeta getting his, pla uh, his uh, unique equipment, um, and him being in way, way, way more matches in PvP. I feel like this guy's value has dropped a lot. Red Freeze is a solid option, especially with the leader update. Seeing a lot of people run this Red Freeze on a lot of teams. Green Metal Cooler is really, really good. Um, this Purple Vegeta is kind of eh. This guy's mediocre. This guy's mediocre. Yellow Turles. Don't even talk about Yellow Turles. Purple Hit, I think, is actually a pretty interesting character still. Um, he, he can do a lot of damage. He's very fragile, but definitely a solid unit. Uh, this guy is kind of old and outdated, and then old and outdated, but... Broly, Chil Broly and Chilai are about to get a Zenkai Awakening, so they, um, they'll they definitely, I think, be pretty good once that happens, but we'll see how their Zenkai turns out. Um, the actual f like featured Sparking Green Broly, I feel like he's really good. He's a pretty beginner-friendly character, where he gets a card dress whenever he uses a strike card. His blue card hits very hard. Um, I don't really have any complaints right now about him. I mean, I've, on I've only used him once, so uh, maybe stuff will come up later, but he feels pretty good to me, so I like him. And then for the LFs here, um, so in total there's going to be, what is it, seven legendary finish units on this banner? Yeah. All right, so we have full power Frieza. I believe this I believe this is the first banner he's returned on, unless I'm mistaken. But uh, he actually, I, I really do like this character a lot. I feel like a lot of people don't give him the credit that he deserves, but I feel like a lot of that is due to the fact that he's on a lot of teams that aren't really that great, like Lineage of Evil. Unfortunately, not really where it needs to be. Frieza Force sort of in the same boat. Um, powerful opponent, he's a really good fit for powerful opponent actually, but he really needs support for him to really, you know, witness, or uh, uh, for him to really take advantage of his full potential. 
Blue Broly is still really annoying to fight, especially on the Super Saiyan team. Majin Vegeta is still solid, but he's definitely uh, been replaced on a lot of his teams just because there's a lot better options for like Blue Saiyans and stuff like that. And now with Trunks coming out, um, he's probably going to be replaced as the main Blue on Vegeta Clan as well. Uh, Gogeta Blue, uh, a very skill-based unit. If you're a newer player, it's probably not the best character to start using. I mean, he is, you know, in a way, he's be he's beginner friendly because he ignores special cover changes for a set number of times, but you can't really witness his full potential as a beginner because you're not going to be able to land his green card, like, effectively, so. Uh, Super Vegito, kind of like a, a question mark right now because he is for sure getting his Zenkai Awakening. We're not sure how good it's going to be, but, I mean, they're not... <laughs> They're not going to botch Super Vegito Zenkai. I'm sure he'll be extremely, extremely overpowered. Green Beerus, definitely aged, but uh, he's still a solid option for God Key. And then obviously the new uh, Blue Goku and Vegeta. Uh, the one thing I would say about Blue Goku and Vegeta right now is I would actually consider them to be the most complex and difficult character to use in the history of this game. Like, by far. So, that is really what I'm going to be basing my decision off of, is like sort of like the main featured LFs and the main featured sparking. So overall, this is a very, very solid banner. And obviously because of the fact that it is three times sparking rates and three times Z power, these are banners you want to be summoning on, just period. The one thing I mentioned in a previous video is that, you know, a lot of people were upset with the fact that in the three-year anniversary with Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and Red Zamasu, uh, you know, they used all their crystals for Gogeta Zamasu, and then in part two, they released the revival Purple Gohan, who obviously, like, overshadowed Gogeta and Zamasu, and they were, you know, people were, were very, very upset with the fact that, you know, they have seemingly got bamboozled by the part one characters. So if you guys feel that way, and you don't want to get quote-unquote tricked again this year, um, what I would say, or for this celebration, I would say, uh, because these banners are up for so long, right, we can go up to the, this banner's up till January 18th, and the same thing with the Trunks banner here as well. You could, you could, you know, hold off summoning on these banners for now, wait to see what is coming next, and then if what's coming next, you know, doesn't interest you as much as this, or maybe you want to take advantage of the three times sparking rates and triple Z power from this banner, then, at that point, you can make a decision to come back and summon on these banners, but... You know, in my opinion, that's probably the smartest thing you could do is just to see what's coming and then go back and make a decision then. But in order to do that, you're going to have to have the willpower to not summon when, you know, everybody's summoning, everybody's getting these new characters, you're fighting these characters in PvP. So it's going to be a tough, uh, a tough journey if you decide to hold off. But I do think that's probably the smarter choice here. So overall, this banner is very good. Um, I think, you know, the main thing to note, though, is that a lot of these characters on this banner are not uh, beginner friendly. Especially, like, you know, the actual featured Goku and Vegeta himself, I would consider them to be not beginner-friendly whatsoever. Full Power Freeze, I probably wouldn't consider them to be beginner-friendly at all. Gogeta Blue, not beginner-friendly at all. And a lot of these characters, too, like Purple Hit, definitely not beginner-friendly. God of Destruction Topo, um, I would actually consider him to be pretty beginner-friendly. Beginner I mean, you, you, just, you just switch in with him and you, like, just lock them in and kill them, right? That's just it's not that hard to do. Um, so, yeah, that's the Goku and Vegeta banner. Now, moving over to the Trunks banner, we sort of have a similar situation here as well. We scroll down to the uh, featured sparkings on here. So we're going to take a look at these ones right here. So starting off with Red Goku Black, outdated and not that great. Green Featured Gohan, outdated and not that great. Purple Trunks, outdated and not, not that great. Yellow Cell, super outdated. Uh, Yellow Goku Black is one of the worst Zenkais in the entire game. Uh, Blue Super Saiyan 2 Trunks is actually a pretty good pickup here. Um, he's one of the better blue Zenkai's in the game, I would say. Um, still a really powerful character for Future and Vegeta Family, and uh, even hybrids too, so a uh, nice character to pick up if you are uh, and manage to pull one, of, pull one of him. Red Cell, I would say he's uh, kind of also in that same mediocre boat for a Zenkai character. Green Mai is a really nice bench character. 25% health is very unbalanced <laughs> for girls in Future, so nice bench character there. Red Trunks is another nice uh, bench option for the hybrid team if you manage to get him Zenkai'd, so not a bad pull for, uh, you know, if you're a hybrid player. And then on the bottom here, we have Purple Vegito Blue, really, 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 really powerful character. Still really good. Um, Green Trunks, I would say that he's good, but he's not like, I don't know, because he really started in the anniversary. He's not on the same level as like, you know, Red Bojack or those other reg uh, regular Sparkings. Trunks and I, they're actually pretty solid. Um, I don't think... Um, I don't think I, I don't think that like you know they're represented as much as they should be in the PvP meta right now. I feel like they're better than people uh, make them out to be. Green Goku Black is still pretty good. Um, he's definitely aging a little bit at this point though. Red Cell, same thing with uh, sort sort of in the same boat as we just took a look at with the Revival Goku with uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta being as prevalent as he is in the meta right now. It's uh, his value has definitely gone way down. 
this guy is like a premier Zenkai character. He just got a Zenkai Awakening. I feel like the, uh, you know, when you compare the power level of this character Zenkai to a lot of other Zenkais that have come out recently, he's like head and shoulders above a lot of the competition. One of the best units in the game, obviously, is this uh, Zamasu here. Rage Trunks definitely aged a bit, and you can definitely feel that he's not as powerful as he was. Purple Vegeta is still pretty good, but he's definitely aged as well. This Goku's aged as well. Green Cell was never good. This Trunks is aged. And then uh, the Goku Black and Zamasu character, they are an interesting one. Um, mostly utility-based character, you know, reduces Vanishing Gauge, destroys Dragon Balls, gets card draw speed, healing, buffing up your team with support. Um, so, I mean, they're, they're not like going to come out and do like 100 million damage to the enemy, but uh, they're a good defensive character, they're a good utility character, and that's something you don't really see too often, I don't think, with a lot of these like premier featured sparking characters. So. And then taking a look at the LF list here, we have Evolution Blue Vegeta. Very, very powerful LF. Uh, purple Rose Goku Black, definitely been overshadowed by a lot of recent purple characters for his the same teams that he's on, but he's still a really good character, able to nullify endurance just straight up all the time. Future Gohan, one of the most beginner-friendly characters in the entire game. Same thing with Vegeta Blue over here. Purple Goten and Red Gohan. <laughs> is there... Is there really any need for me to explain this? I mean, Red Gohan is just Red Gohan at this point. The the forbidden one, or he held, he who shall not shall not be named, is what we like to call this character here. And then Blue Trunks himself. Um, and and to get to my point, so we can wrap up this uh, portion of the video, I think when you take a look at the featured characters and you look at all the different units that are on here, I think at the end of the day, at least in my opinion, the Trunks banner is a way better banner to summon on for beginners and for players who don't have much experience using all these different characters and they don't have much experience playing pvp and they're maybe they're, they're coming back for the first time in a long time so if you're not accustomed to the all to all these you know uh, these mechanics in the game like um if you take a look at the trunks banner here like okay when do i use uh, vegeta's green card to nullify special cover changes when do i use goku's blue card to recover my vanishing gauge when do i stop time with them when do i you know do this when do i do that uh, when do I cover change with them to, uh, you know, nullify blast cards? Like, these, this character is ridiculously difficult to use. Um, same thing with Gogeta Blue. I mean, Gogeta Blue has, like, that sort of beginner-friendly aspect where you can nullify special cover changes and stuff with him, but if you can't land his green card, like, reliably, then you're, you're leaving a lot of what he can bring to the table just on the table, because you can't make use of the green card. That's, like, half of his kit is coming from the green card. Um... And then I would honestly throw Full Power Frieza in that same boat as well. A lot of what he can do is free-to-play friendly. I mean, his blue card just hits like a truck. It's an AoE. He can nullify endurance just for existing. But the blast cover change, blast armor just as a mechanic overall, I feel like is a pretty difficult to use uh, mechanic. Um, destroying the Dragon Balls, like when do you use the main ability to restore your vanishing gauge? There's a lot of instances where I feel like you need to know um, and understand how the game works and the flow of battle to really make use of his uh, his like abilities to the most of uh, to the best of your ability. Um, his God Tobe is pretty beginner friendly. This Red Freeze is pretty beginner friendly. But if you take a look at some of the other units on here, like Purple Hit is definitely not beginner friendly. I would say that Green Metal Cool is definitely not beginner friendly. Um, so I would say that the biggest difference between these two banners is like 80% of these characters on this, on this Trunks banner. You know, Purple Zamasu, Green Goku, Black is like the ultimate beginner friendly character. Obviously the, the hybrids are beginner friendly, Vegeta Blue is ridiculously beginner friendly, so is Feature Gohan and Trunks himself. Like the theme of this banner is if you're a beginner or if you don't really understand the mechanics and the ins and outs of how PvP works in this game, then this is the banner you want to summon on because it's going to make your lives a lot easier to have these characters that are way easier to use than characters on this banner. So that's really what I would conclude about just in terms of like which banner is better. If you're somebody who's not as familiar with the game, I would recommend summoning on the Trunks banner. But if you're somebody who is more experienced with the game, understands how the flow of battle works, understands you know, what you need to do during certain portions of battle, you know, depending on what actions are taken, then this might be the banner you want to summon on. Um, not obviously uh, uh, taking into consideration the fact that this character is just like ridiculously cool, right? I mean, if you're somebody who's new to the game and you just want to summon for Goku and Vegeta, I completely understand that. So that would, for me at least, definitely take priority over just, you know, which is the better quote unquote b banner to summon on out of practicality. Um, so if you just want to summon on this banner because they're cool, then obviously do it. But um, from a standpoint of what is the better choice sort of um, from, a, from a standpoint of practicality and like what am I going to actually make a better use of in my account and in my journey through PvP. 
then I would say this Trunks banner is probably going to be better for the majority of players. But that is just my opinion here. And then if we scroll down to the tickets, this is one other thing I wanted to mention about these banners too before we wrap this video up. Don't want to make this too long. Um, but if you take a look at the ticket banner, right? The ticket banner typically, I would say, um, you know, you have the summon coin mechanic. If you guys aren't familiar with this mechanic, the summon coins, basically you receive summon coins every time you do summons on these banners. For example, I have 25 summon coins right here. So if we click on the exchange shop icon, it'll bring us to the shop where we can exchange our summon coins for certain types of currency. Um, you know, we could eventually save 50 summon coins to buy a free copy of the character. They actually just added this to the uh, summon coin shop as well. You can purchase an additional copy of the, um, the new sparking as well. They didn't actually have that prior to this. Um, and then, um, so what I wanted to say about this though is that with these summon tickets, because the three times Z power is also now implemented for the ticket banner, I would probably just say that it is completely the better choice to buy tickets with your summon coins. Um, not only because you have a better chance of pulling the LFs, right? But also because even if you like get like one of these random sparking characters, like, let's just say, I don't know, you pull uh, Purple Demon King Piccolo from the, from the Ticket Banner. You're still getting 1,800 Z power for Demon King Piccolo, which is a massive, massive win. And for example, if you saved up 50 summon coins to buy a copy of the new LF, you're only getting 600 for them. And you're that's the equivalent of 10, of 10 tickets that you're using to buy that copy. So you could either get basically 18,000 Z power across multiple sparkings that you might need from buying 10 tickets, or you can buy one copy of a character for 600 Z power. <laughs> so it's uh, pretty much a night and day difference, I would say, on this specific setup where you're getting all this LF Z power, or not LF Z power, but we're getting all this Z power for all these characters. In my opinion, it's a much better choice to go ahead and purchase the, um, to go ahead and, uh, and purchase the tickets with your summon coins, at least for these banners here. So uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover here. So in my in conclusion here, I mean, it's going to depend on like what type of what type of player you are. Now, obviously, if you just really want to play with this new character, the Goku and Vegeta, because they're they're a cool tag character, they their animations look sick. Like, obviously, that's <laughs> that's going to take precedent over like you know which character is better or which lineup is better. So if you just want to play with Goku and Vegeta and you want to go for that, obviously, just summon on this banner. But in terms of like practicality and actual use in the game. Um, this is the banner you want to summon on, I think, if you're a newer player and don't really have much experience playing the game. But with the Goku and Vegeta banner, I mean, this is just, you know, <laughs> just every every character here is just so cool. and um, takes a little bit more experience, I think, to actually master the mechanics involved with using a lot of these characters, like Goku to Blue's green card and stuff like that. So um, at the end of the day, going to come down to your own situation and personal preference. But um, you know, at the end of the day, I'd probably say the Trunks banner, for me at least, has a slight advantage over the Goku and the Vegeta banner, and that's mostly just due to the featured LF characters. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below how your guys' summons have gone so far, and I will see you guys all in the next one.